women of God, saints of God, certain things had a chain reaction from what Jeroboam was doing. Certain things has caused a chain reaction of certain things that Jeroboam was saying, certain things he was doing, certain things of his actions, the way he was living. How many know he was living a lie? I'm the king. I know what I'm doing. I'm a Christian. You can't tell me nothing. If your house is sick, something needs to get fixed. If your house is not right, something needs to get in on. We need to discern, is it God doing it or is it the devil doing it? For whatever Jeroboam was doing and acting and living that made his son. Can I use another name for son? Isn't his son his seed? Yes, Lord. Whatever made his seed to become sick. How many of us are sowing into the kingdom and we're sowing a sick seed into the kingdom? A polluted seed. You should be happy I went to church, God. Oh, no. That's a polluted seed. Well, I don't like those people, but I like those. That's a polluted seed. Racism is a polluted seed. Genderism is a polluted, a polluted seed. And my house is sick. Favoritism over one child over another is a polluted seed. That's why children growing up any kind of way, because mama had a favoritism, daddy had a favoritism, and we grew up hurt. We grew up behind the eight ball. We want to know why I turned out this way. Oh, but I thank God that he loved me long enough and far enough and stretched out his arms to wrap his arms around me and say, no matter what, I still love you. That's right. How, how many know what I'm talking about? Oh, my God. My God. How many can say, you know, preacher man, I can identify to being a black sheep of the family. Do you understand? Jeroboam's son had nothing to do with what's going on. But he's dealing with the pain. He's the one suffering because of daddy's sin. Because of daddy's lies. Right. You cannot fool God today, saints. I've come to tell somebody, your actions will adversely affect your household, either for the good or for the bad. You're around folks that are telling you all the time, oh, you don't need to talk about that. You don't need to, oh, that's too much. Hold on a minute. You're trying to affect my household. That's right. Man, a guy got called you to walk by faith, and on the outward appearance, it looked like, oh, he lazy. No, I'm doing what God told me to do. Ooh. You got folks around you that look and sound like Christians, but they're fooling you, but they ain't fooling God. How many of them God want to bless us with the sermon this morning? Amen. Amen. You got preachers on the television saying, send me money, I'll send you water, I'll send you a handkerchief, I'll send you, ah, no, teach me how to pray and I'll pray for myself. Amen. Teach me the ways of God and I'll do it for myself. Well, shouldn't you be glad we did this for you? No, if God wouldn't have touched your heart, you wouldn't have did nothing for me. How many know God got to touch people's heart? Amen. We living in a day where mothers are killing their own children. We living in a day where men don't, uh, they had this thing, men, a man gave a baby. Who are you trying to sell that lie to? Right. And we're just saying, ooh, everything's fine. No, you cannot fool God. You're still a woman, man. That's right. Oh, they're going to put you in jail, you're preaching like that. My number's 11111. You can put me, I'm ready. That's right. The cross before me, the world behind me. I'm trying to tell you this morning. Jer Jeroboam represented so many of us who have a prophecy on our life, who struggle to walk circumspectly according to the ways of God. The Bible says that the prophet prophesied to Jeroboam and said, you shall be a prince. Yet, he did not wait on God. He went before God. How many know when you go before God, you mess up a lot of stuff? One of the very first sermons the Lord ever blessed me to preach was, be careful of the Absalom spirit, who would love to go before God, and God ain't even trying to use you yet. Jeroboam, he went to ordain priests of his own. Well, I want you, but not you. I want the Hispanic, but not the white. Uh, I don't want the poor, but I want the rich. You can't ordain. Only God can ordain. 
You cannot pick and choose who you're going to bless, who you're going to speak a blessing over. God directs his people. Amen? Amen. Trying to tell somebody today, we've been around folks that have been trying to fool us, but we need to tell them today. You may fool me, but you can't fool God. He's struggling to walk in his calling. Why? Why is he struggling? May I tell you the scripture? Too much is given. Much is required. Young man, you have an anointing on your life. And that's why stuff is always challenging you. That's why, man, why they don't trust me? They can't see I chain. No, no, no. They want to see the light in you. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. May I go down a rabbit trail? Somebody turn to Leviticus 24. Uh, this is a prophetic word for you, Brother Jeff. My God, this ain't even in my notes. God just told me to speak this over your life. Leviticus 24. And I want you to stand up, Brother Jeff, and you read verse 2. Leviticus 24, verse 2. This is your prophetic word. The Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure olive oil, beaten for the light. To cause the lamps to burn continually. Hallelujah. Do you receive that word, man of God? Listen what Leviticus 24, 2 says. Command the children of Israel. How many know we're the children of Israel spiritually? Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure all olive. Pure. Pure, brother. Pure motive. Why I'm serving God. I can care less if I make a dollar. I can care less if I got to walk from one stop sign. Pure anointing. For the light to cause the lamps to burn what? Continually. How many know we are the lamps? The Bible says we are a, a, a light, a city set on a hill. The lamps, brother, we have the lamps inside of us. Anybody remember the, the, the parable Jesus gave? There were ten virgins. Some of them brought all for their lamps. How many know you're the lamp, brother? And you hear what God is telling you. I've commanded the light to burn continually in you. This ain't no show. This ain't on church. I'm going to be one way. And then when I go over by my friend, hey, what's up, dog? No, I command the light in you to burn. Even when you're sleeping, people are going to see the light. Even when you open your mouth and say, I'm trusting God, they're going to see the light. Amen. God said, I've commanded the light to burn continually in you. That's your word, brother. That's why it's so hard. Because folks you've been around, they know how to turn their life on and off. I tell you, next week I believe the Lord may have me preach a word called, you got to be broken to be whole. Huh. You got to be broken to be whole. But let's get, get back, brother, I pray you receive that word. God's commanded your light to burn continually. Amen. So he tells the son of Jeroboam, a uh, son is sick, and I say, well, why is he sick, Lord? Because when people look on the outward appearance, they think this man got it going on. But his house is falling apart. But on the outward appearance, everybody say the outward appearance. Outward. Don't I look like I got it going on? You see people in church, God bless you, brother. Love you, sister. But behind they smile, you know what I can hear? Who can stop the pain? I can hear, who can stop the pain? I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of wondering if I heard from God or I didn't hear from God. I'm tired of coming one way and leaving the same way. No difference, no change. Who can stop the pain? I'm looking at my house. And something is wrong in my house. In verse 2. And Jeroboam said to his wife, Arise, I pray thee, and disguise thyself, that thou be not known to be the wife of Jeroboam, and get thee to Shiloh. How many know Shiloh represents the church? Spiritually today, Shiloh represents the church. So what is the husband telling the wife? Go to church. Behold, there is Ahijah the prophet. Which told me that I should be king over this people. He prophesied to me and said I was going to be a prophet, a priest. He prophesied and said I'd be an evangelist. He prophesied and said a prep mountain in this mountain. He prophesied, go. I want you to see this. 